Hai penikmat kopi, welcome back to Autumn Vlog Channel Dan kali ini aku ada video review yang spesial banget Dan pastinya untuk video review ini aku nggak sendirian Aku datangkan satu spesial tamu yang saya datangkan jauh-jauh dari negara jauh sana Di negara Itali, yes! Dia tuh harus mendaki gunung lewati lembah untuk datang ke sini untuk menemani saya untuk mereview satu produk yang benar-benar keren banget yaitu radiofonika. Jadi langsung aja saya panggil Vito untuk memperjelaskan mengenai radiofonika mesin espresso. Inilah dia Vito dari brand Orchestrale. Welcome Vito, thank you for coming here and thank you for being my guest to explain about this special machine about Radiofonica. Thank you. Hello everyone. It's a pleasure for me to be here at Hot and Coffee showroom and uh, today I have uh, the opportunity to explain about our coffee espresso machine range. We have a different coffee espresso machine from one group two groups, two groups compact uh, and uh, three groups. Uh, today we focusing on the Radiofonica. Anyway, the other model that we have is the Nota Machine One Group, the Ethnica Phonica Two Groups uh, and the Ethnica Display, Ethnica Display TT. For all the other range, you can come here to the Hot and Coffee showroom and uh, all the staff can explain you everything about our machine. This is a radiophonic machine, the last uh, was born in our range. Traditional machine like all the others with the thermosiphonic system that for us is uh, the best and the constant system for the temperature and the pressure of uh, steam. It's a two group machine, tall group, so you can use also with uh, uh, big caps for takeaway, for example. The four doses of the setting of the machine and the machine inside has a, a very high quality features like big boiler 11 liters with the two ict exchangers uh, 400 milliliter value so that means that you do how many coffee that you want without lose the temperature during the extraction the group head are x61 group head very heavy group four kilos of brass, so the temperature remains constant. You never have under-extracted coffee or over-extracted coffee. Also, the motor pump and the pump are big. The motor pump are air cooling and the big motor with a pump 200 liters per hour. That means if you use the machine like in this, now with the gallon under the bench, you have a strong power of the pump to suck the water and never lose the 9 bar pressure during the extraction. All of you know that with the 9 bar pressure, you have the best extraction of coffee. All right, I'm really, really curious about the machine. Can you please explain about what is inside of the machine? First of all, I would like to tell that all our features inside are made in Italy and very high quality. As I already told, the boiler are in copper material, big boiler, as you can see, 11 liter. On the boiler, we have the anti eddy valve, level probe, and the safety valve. The anti eddy valve is very important, this valve, because every morning when you switch on the machine, this valve allows the air inside the boiler to go out. So when the machine reaches the, the right temperature, you have inside the boiler the real steam with the power. Also, this ma machine has a three step of uh, safety. The pressure switch under there, and uh, because it works till 1.5 bar. If the pressure switch doesn't work properly, we have inside this box the safety valve that open when the pressure inside the boiler going up 1.8 bar. And also, if this other feature doesn't work properly, we have the thermostat. This feature disconnect the heating element if the heating element go over 160 degrees. 
so that means at the boiler you have around 2.5 bar and this feature protects the boiler against the explosion or also the heating element so disconnected the heating element you never burn the heating element and it is expensive spare parts Nah, penikmat kopi ya mohon maaf sekali ya kalau misalnya kamu mendengarkan suara-suara yang kumbang bising karena sekarang kita berada di outdoor karena Cotton Coffee membawakan kamu ke sensasi outdoor yang berbeda. Oke, jadi kita langsung aja nyalakan aja mesinnya dan Vito bakalan menjelaskan gimana sih cara menyalakannya dan juga ada fitur-fitur khusus apa aja yang di dalam Radiofonica ini. Oke, for the first installation, that's mean the machine is new. We must refill the boiler first. So, we put the machine with this switch in one position. The machine starts to refill the boiler, we must wait till the water arrives to touch the lever probe to stop to refill. And then we can see that when the LED on the touchpad switch on. That means that the machine refill totally the boiler. When I speak to refill totally, I mean that you refill half size of the boiler. So, in this case, we work with 5.5 liters of water and after with 5.5 liters of steam. Oke, okay, jadi penikmat kopi untuk mengetahui apakah air di dalam boiler itu udah penuh atau enggak, kamu switch aja ke level nomor 1, terus kamu tunggu aja sampai mesinnya tuh benar-benar penuh dengan melihat tombol di sini. Kalau tombolnya udah menyala, itu tandanya mesin kamu udah penuh dengan airnya, yaitu 5,5 liter air. How long we should wait? Okay, the machine now refill the water inside the boiler till to touch the level probe. We move the switch from one position to the two position, so the control board send the signal to the heating element to start to heat the machine. The step that we did before is only for the first connection, because when you switch off the machine in the evening, the day after, the boiler is already refilled. So you switch on the machine only on the two position. Don't need to put in one and after in two. Jadi kalau misalnya kamu udah penuh boilernya, udah selesai, kamu itu perlu memutar tombol ini ke nomor dua. Karena ini merupakan heating element yang sangat penting banget untuk radiofonika ini. You know, kadang kalau misalnya kamu ada kedai kopi dan kamu tuh operasionalnya dari jam pagi sampai jam malam Nah untuk heating element ini sangat penting banget karena ini untuk menjaga kestabilan yang ada di dalam radiofonika ini Oke, okay, penikmat kopi dan juga perlu diketahui lagi Kalau angka satu ini hanya diputar sekali aja Pas kamu beli mesin ini cukup diputar sekali agar airnya terangkat ke boiler Dan selanjutnya adalah nomor dua all the time sampai seterusnya kecuali kamu kosongkan boiler kamu oleh karena itu kamu perlu untuk memutar balik ke angka satu kalau enggak ya dua aja ngapain ribet satu dua satu dua oke okay, another question yeah how do you know whether the machine is ready to use yes usually the machine take around 20-25 minutes to reach the right temperature and the, the way to see if the machine is ready is to check on the manometer when the yellow thing is on the one bar pressure so the machine start to be ready to do the coffee all right let's do it yeah but we must wait the important thing is when you use a machine the portal filter never put here oh okay the portal filter always must be connected to the group head because the portal filter is a are in brass material so the group head with the induction, you can hit the group head and the, the, the extracted coffee has always the same taste. Because if the porta filter is cold, you have less foam and the, the coffee is a little bit colder and the taste change. Must be always connected to, to the group head. So I touch. Now it's not ready to use to have our first coffee. I see. Anyway, I can try explain how you can set the dose of the machine. To set the dose of a machine, I mean the dose inside the cup, is very easy. You push 
the fifth button for a few seconds till the LED switch it off and start, <coughs> start to blink after you started to do the dose. For example, you do the dose. Of course, you must put the powder of coffee, that, the grams of powder of coffee that you wanted to do the coffee and switch off. This dose is already set it. Also this one, because this touch pad copy what you setting in this one. All right, so I just need to do it once. Yeah. And I, for the next usage, I just push. push and the machine whatever. stop itself when reach the perfect dose that you already set it. Okay. But if I want to reset it back, how do I reset it back? The same every, thing? Every time, push this one. After 10 seconds, the, the, program, the program come out from the program setting. Now, if you want, you can set again. Change the time and the quantity of coffee in your cup. Okay, interesting. If you want, for example, some in some coffee, coffee shop they have two blends. Yep. So uh, they prefer to set in different way. You must before set this touchpad and after this one. If you have, if you want to have a different setting, mm -hmm. because if you do before this one and after this one, this one can sell what you set it here. Yep. Because it is the main, the main touch pad. Okay, I see. So which means if I want different setting, I have to set both. If I want the same one, I just need to set this one. Yeah, correct. All right. Jadi penikmat kopi tahu ya, kalau kamu mau setting yang sama, kamu cukup perhatikan di sini saja. Kalau yang mau berbeda, kamu harus settingnya di sini dan nih. Jadi ada dua setting. Now the porta filter is out. Is it ready? <laughs> this is a group head. Is it ready? It's ready. For our coffee. Okay, let's see. When you do a, a coffee, it's important every time with the manual bottom, this is the manual bottom, to purge a little bit water. In this case, we don't use the machine before, it's new, so the water is clean. But if you already do a coffee, in this way, you clean the shower group head. So each coffee is with the clean water, not with the, the before powder. Put a porta filter. I use the manual one because we don't uh, set in properly way the dose. In this time, the coffee doesn't come out because the machine do with the mechanical way the pre-infusion. Perfect extraction. I can see a really nice primer. You have that. Yes. That's the golden oh. crema. This is my golden crema. Please enjoy your coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Delicioso. Is that how you say it? Yeah, delicioso. Delicioso. It's correct. Correct. I can see this machine is really nice. It's colorful. I'm just wondering, can this machine use for high traffic coffee shop? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes, because the, as I already explained to the beginning, the feature inside high quality, and uh, we do all our models to, to allow to work very hard. I show you a simple example. When you do, you steam the mill, we open both steps, but the pressure inside the boiler, you can see here, never drop down it's totally stable you can do also the coffee in the same time and the pressure never drop down so if you want 
in a coffee shop, two person in the same time can steam milk and do the coffee. I'm just wondering how many cups can this ready for uh, make coffee for a day? It depends how much is fast the barista because this machine is able to do four cups of espresso every each 30 seconds. Oh, wow, okay. So if the barista is very fast, can do all the espresso that he wants uh, during the day without any problem. Drop down the pressure, drop down the, the temperature because the thermosiphonic system is very stable. We have a very big group head with the four kilos brass, so you never lose the, 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 the temperature, brewing temperature. Jadi penikmat kopi, seberapa mahal pun mesin kopi itu dan seberapa bagusnya mesin kopi, kalau nggak dijaga, nggak dibersih itu bakalan cepat rusak. Jadi kita tanya aja langsung sama Vito, gimana sih cara bersihin radiofonika ini? So Vito, can you explain to me how to clean radiofonika? It's very easy. To clean the radiofonica must be do every day. Every day? Every day. Not only for the radiofonica, for all coffee, espresso machine. It's very good to clean every day, so it's very take short time if you do every day, and uh, it's good for the life of the machine, but also for the taste of coffee. You change the the filter with the normal basket with the blind filter. Okay, the blind filter is the filter without holes, so you can put the powder three spoon of powder you put you connect the porta filter on the group head okay to clean this machine has the auto cleaning program so you push the fifth button first and the, the first one and the start the auto cleaning process five circles, each circle of five seconds, so it's very easy, it's very easy and uh, take a very small time of your time in the evening to do that. We already did the third one. So it's five times? Yes, five times. So if you do every day, it's enough. Both. Of course. After that, the cleaning stop. You take off the porta filter. You wash with the manual. And leave the water kind through, come through the group head 20 seconds. Okay, after that, the machine is ready to start work again. Oke, okay, penikmat kopi kita udah laluin semuanya dari proses pembuatan kopi, dari isi dari mesinnya, cara pembersihannya semuanya udah dikomplit full di review oleh Vito yang ganteng ini. Jadi, thank you so much Vito for coming here and enlighten us with Radio Fonica, the new you. baby from Orchestrale. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. And buat kamu yang belum subscribe, subscribe sekarang di sini dan buat kamu yang suka video ini jangan lupa untuk put a thumbs up dan jangan lupa untuk share juga oke okay? untuk deskripsi dari mesin ini bisa kamu cek aja langsung di website Oten Coffee yang ada di description box below alright oh one more thing jangan lupa follow instagram Oten Coffee at Oten Coffee buat kamu yang penasaran apa sih yang dia bicarakan bahasa Sanskerta atau bahasa Inggris kamu bisa lihat aja dan klik sisi di bawah ini untuk melihat subtitle dalam bahasa Indonesia Salam kopi. Ciao. Oton kopi, ngopi dalam sekali klik.